If I had to start my closet completely over from scratch, this is exactly what I would do. I went into my closet and I basically created a 35 piece capsule wardrobe consisting of tops, pants, shorts, skirts, dresses, outerwear, shoes, and purses. I did not include jewelry or belts in this video, but of course those are just little extra sprinkles on top that you can throw in. I will also say what you select for your 35 pieces might look a lot different than what I select. This is going to depend on your location, the season, also personal style. So just take that into consideration when watching this video. Anyways, let's just get right into the video. I selected 12 tops. So where I live in Northern California, I can get away with wearing tank tops almost all year round. So having a lot of tank tops, and when I say a lot, I mean three, was really important for me. I decided to choose two more basic tank tops and then one that was more of a personality top. And this is my recommendation for all of the different categories of clothes that you have. Have a basic version and then also have a more personality version. This will allow you to one, express your fashion style, but also have something to wear with every single piece. Everything will be really interchangeable. So that's my first tip. The corset is what I would consider my personality top, but this top, not only is it one of the most worn things that I have in my closet, but I style it and use it in so many different ways. I think it's really great and looks amazing all on its own. I really love strapless tops on me. That's one of my personal favorite silhouettes for my specific body type. But also I love to layer this corset with other things. I'll throw it over dresses. I'll throw it over long sleeve shirts. I'll throw it over short sleeve shirts. I have even in the past worn corsets over my trench coats to kind of turn my trench coats into dresses. So that is one way that I really like to be creative with my closet. It. I would also say another tip that I have is don't be afraid to be creative with your closet and try new things because honestly you never know until you try and sometimes the weird ideas that you have end up being the most amazing layering combinations that you discover. Also hi my name is Katie I make fashion and lifestyle content here on YouTube so if you are into all things fashion and femininity I highly suggest you hit that subscribe button. Anyways let's get back to the video. Okay we're gonna move on to short sleeve shirts. I only chose two short sleeve shirts for my capsule wardrobe. I chose, well, they're both kind of fitted, but one of them is more basic and then one of them it has a little bit more personality. It's really poofy and it has all that ruching. For me, a plain, basic, more boxy, loose fitted t-shirt, that is not a closet essential for me. And this is my next tip. Find out what your personal closet essentials are. This is going to look super different for all of us based upon our body shape, colors we like to wear, silhouettes that we prefer, and also just what is your most worn pieces in general. Like I said, those big boxy t-shirts or a more traditional style t-shirt, that does not really fit into my personal style very much. And I do have some basic t-shirts like that, but I will say I almost never reach for them. But these two shirts that I chose, I actually do reach for quite a lot. I have that same concept with my long sleeve shirts. I would consider both of these generally basic, but my black little zip up jacket, it definitely has a little bit more personality with the corset to it. The next category of tops is button down shirts. And for me, this is an absolute closet essential. I love my button down shirts. I wear them all the time and I style them in so many different ways, just on their own, layered under dresses with that corset top that I mentioned. And it is an absolute closet essential for me personally. So you could kind of clump this into my long sleeve shirt category, but I just kind of put shirts in their own section just because that's um, what I decided to do. And then the last category for tops that I chose were sweaters. And I chose this white kind of more cropped, slightly more oversized one, and then this black 
fitted one that I am wearing right now. My next tip, as you guys have probably noticed from all of the shirt categories that I have mentioned, is that I stuck with pretty much just neutral colors, and that would be my recommendation. When you are starting to build the foundation of your closet, I think neutrals are the most important pieces to invest in, unless you know that you are a color girl and colors are just everything that you want to be wearing. But for most of us, I would say that just to be on the safer side, having neutral colors will be the most beneficial to your closet. It will be the easiest to mix and match and pair items together if all of the colors already look great together. I did also throw in a couple of blue tops and you will see throughout this video that the one color I did include in this video is blue. I personally love to wear blue. This was kind of unintentional but it was funny after I pulled out all the pieces and I noticed that that was the only other color that I pulled that really showed me personally how important this color is into my closet. I don't know if that makes sense, but if there is a specific color like that that you love, then I highly suggest integrating that in. And if you stick with colors, again, that are complementary to each other, everything will go with everything and then that will make the whole getting dressed and pairing items and coming up with new outfit ideas really easy and simple. All right, we're going to move on to the next category, which is pants. I will preface this by saying I'm not much of a jean girl and I know that a lot of people sometimes jeans are all they wear so I only chose two pairs of jeans for my pants and one was a more kind of mid wash color in a looser fit and then the other one was a skinny jean in a dark wash with a little flare at the bottom. For me, those are the two pairs of jeans that I pretty much only wear. I have some other ones, but those are highly my most worn pieces. My biggest suggestion for pants, this is coming from such a personal place because these are my favorites, is investing in some trousers, a darker pair and a lighter pair. Trousers are the most comfortable pants in my opinion. I really like the wide leg style so that's what I selected from my wardrobe for this video and it really feels like I'm wearing sweatpants when I'm wearing these two pairs of pants and the other trousers that I have in my closet too. They are so comfortable and I feel like they have this ability to just kind of up level any kind of outfit in my opinion, jeans are a little bit more casual, and that's not to say that they can't be dressed up and made a little bit more elevated, but I find that when I pair a trouser with my outfit, I feel so much more polished and put together, and that's just within my personal style. The next category is shorts, and I selected three pairs of shorts. Two are a more tailored kind of trouser-like short, and then the other pair is a pair of denim shorts. Like I mentioned, I'm not a huge denim person, but this pair of shorts that I chose, I love to wear, especially in spring and summertime. They get worn so often, but I will say my preference is the tailored short. Again, I just think it makes any outfit look a little bit more polished, a little bit more put together. I chose a white pair and a black pair. Again, everything goes with everything. All of the tops go with every single bottom. All of the bottoms go with every single top. So it's really easy to just create a whole bunch of outfit combinations. I think specifically for this video, I created about 50 outfits and I could have made so many more. I was just kind of getting tired of playing dress up and filming. So I, I stopped around the 50 outfit mark. The next category I selected is skirts. And this is because I love to wear skirts. So for me, it's important to have a mini skirt, a midi skirt, and a maxi skirt. This might not be your personal style. It is for me and I just wear skirts all the time so this was an absolute essential category for me to select this blue skirt is actually the matching set to the blue tank top that i selected and this is my next tip have at least one set included in your wardrobe you can mix and match them with everything in your closet especially if they're in complementary colors to each other so I highly recommend getting a set in a color that complements the majority of the clothes in your wardrobe because it will be super easy to mix and match. 
The next category is dresses. And again, like I mentioned, I'm a girly girl, so having a selection of dresses is really important to me. I chose two that were a little bit more neutral that could be dressed up and dressed down. The first one being this tan one, which I absolutely love. And then the second one being this black maxi dress. This one I can wear with sneakers, I can wear with heels, I can throw things over top of it. And then the blue one, <laughs> my only other color in this video, is more kind of like a personality dress. And again, that one can also be dressed up and down too. The next category that I selected is outerwear. I chose one blazer, one coat. Also, you probably have noticed the lipstick all over this coat in this video. Um, I am aware, I just have not gotten around to cleaning it yet. <laughs> Laziness strikes again. And then I chose a light colored trench coat and a dark colored trench coat. Trench coats are really important for me in my wardrobe. I wear them all the time. That's why I chose two. Maybe for you in your climate, you need something a little bit more heavy duty, like a long wool coat. Of course, you can always swap out. These are just my personal suggestions and what I selected from my California closet. I will say that with these pieces of outerwear, I can use these 35 pieces that I selected. If I chose to, I could only stick to these 35 pieces year round. I do live in a warmer climate. It is pretty neutral weather all year round, so I can get away with all of the pieces that I selected. I know that we all live in different places. Our wardrobe will need different things, especially depending on the season. If you do live somewhere that has more traditional four seasons. Throughout this video, I have only worn four pairs of shoes. First, a sneaker, two, a boot, three a nude sandal and four a black sandal so both the nude and the black sandal these two pairs of shoes can be dressed up or dressed down i can wear either pair of these little sandals with my denim shorts i can wear it with the jeans i can wear it with the trousers i can wear it with the dresses and it's just kind of like such an easy to integrate shoe but also i can say the same for the pair of boots that i chose and the sneakers they can kind of go with any of the outfits that i made in this video when it comes to selecting the shoes for the foundation of your closet i think the most important factor is that they are comfortable all four pairs of these shoes are incredibly comfortable and i specifically chose them for that reason my next tip is if you don't know what color shoe to wear wear a nude shoe and that is why i selected these nude sandals when i'm kind of like i don't know what shoe to wear i just kind of want to be like barefoot I'll go for the nude shoe. Also, if you are wearing a skirt or a short dress or shorts, the nude sandal makes your leg look so long. Having a shoe, whether it is a boot or a sandal, in a color that matches similar to your skin tone, I think that those are such a closet essential to have in your wardrobe. And then the very last category is purses. I selected three. The first one is more of a simple kind of everyday casual black bag. And then the next one was more of a simple kind of casual everyday white bag. And then the last one was a tiny little handheld one, which I think can be dressed up or down. And honestly, all three of these bags can be dressed up or down. And I think that having at least a little bit of variety of color, a lighter color bag and a darker color bag, or maybe a color bag that is in your personal favorite color that matches your wardrobe and your aesthetic is going to be an absolute essential. If you like seeing content about how to build your dream wardrobe, definitely give this video a like so that I know to make more videos like this. And with all that being said, I just want to thank you guys so much for hanging out and spending this time with me. And until next time, bye friends.